Okay, technical difficulties resolved. So uh, Carlos is going to talk to us about all the cool developments in getting rid of a GDK window inside GDK. So over to you. Hi, so I'm Carlos Garnacho, and I'm going to talk about how GDK window is dying. No references to Margaret Thatcher, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, long story short, uh, a little bit of retrospective on GDK. There was, uh, until GDK 2.18, uh, there was, uh, well, GDK window basically was uh, a, a direct mapping of an X11 window. And every, almost, well, every widget needed to have a window. Uh, it could create one of its own or it could reuse the parents, but every widget was backed by a, an X11 window. Uh, so things were kind of slow because, well, uh, you have to IPC with the X server and things get nasty. So, <coughs> sorry. On GTK 2.18, uh, Alex, hi Alex, <laughs> did really fantastic work at uh, eliminating, eliminating most of these GTK windows. Uh, and and they turned uh, to be into the client side. So uh, you could have on most situations just the top level. Some windows are still needed to be native uh, or could be made native uh, at runtime because of needs, random needs. But, uh, well, GDK window is still closely resembled an X11 window. And the GTK widget API it would was modeled upon it. So there was no way around uh, the, well, dragging all the X11 concepts. So GTK3 went on. There's been lots of improvements across GTK3, obviously, but not that many related to this subject of this talk. Uh, there's been uh, still been lots of GDK windows around and the, the workings of a widget hasn't really changed substantially from the GTK two days. However, some novel concepts uh, were introduced uh, uh, compared to X11 plane event handling. Uh, we introduced the event capture phase, which goes from the top level to the, to the target widget. Uh, the target widget would be the one receiving uh, that the pointer is on top or the touch ha is happening on. Uh, on X11, we could only get event propagation going from the deepmost widget to the top level. So what we introduced was a, a phase that runs before that from the top level to the target widget. So the parent widgets could uh, still capture the input uh, that was meant or could be meant for, for the child widgets. And also uh, on the light cycles, uh, the rows got barely paved uh, on the rendering side with GTK CSS node, uh, which has been a helper object that uh, was meant to simplify widgets and try to make those isolate pieces uh, kind of uh, in terms of CSS handling instead of having a widget implement all the details or for example widgets like GTK calendar which is composed of many parts uh, that would be responsible that was usually responsibility of the widget to actually lay out all the things and uh, set proper paddings and whatnot so uh, the CSS node uh, took over all these individual elements so they could get a, a consistent uh, theming and well now we are on to GTK4 not happened yet but it will and it's too good of an opportunity to miss to to not uh, to, to keep dragging this stuff so yeah we've been setting some concepts uh, that were too tight to X11 and the objective is that every widget is a single CSS node and all widgets are equal in input handling. So there's no nuances about 
yeah, this widget has a window and so it can take input or this widget has to set manually the padding or the margins or whatever. Every widget will be treated consistently. So that means having a consistent coordinate system, having a consistent application of CSS properties, and having consistent input handling. The coordinate system before is full of nitpicks. So yeah, well, uh, widget allocation would be usually relative. Well, it's always relative to the parent GDK window, but it could be the parent widgets. It could be some other widget up the, up the stack. So for example, this made it really nasty to figure out uh, the actual coordinates where your widget is. Uh, for example, uh, you, you have to accumulate and be poke uh, the, the, whether the widget has a window and then reset the counter and then, and then keep going up and whatnot. It's kind of nasty. And the coordinate system after all this stuff in GTK4 is that a widget is allocated relative to its parent. So uh, there's no more to that. With regards to CSS handling, uh, as I told before, uh, the, all the properties uh, were uh, applied uh, at the widget discretion. Uh, they had to be manually implemented. Uh, if you wanted to, to have a widget have some padding or some margins, you, you, you would need to add those manually and to be do the math with the allocations and whatnot in order to lay out properly the children, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And well, so that's the background CSS property. Uh, you would need a, a widget to explicitly paint a background so it could be overridden in CSS. And if, you did, if the widget didn't, there was nothing for it, no cookie. And also, yeah, well, the, uh, for example, the GTK calendar that, that I've been talking before, uh, yeah, the, there's multiple logical areas and whatnot. This was is improved by GTK CSS nodes, but yeah, it's been more of a transition than something definitive. But right now, in GTK4, uh, the concept is that every widget is a CSS node on itself. It doesn't have any more CSS nodes. And if there are, they should be widgets. So child widgets, obviously. So yeah, it could be as simple as, as that. And, and all CSS properties apply, uh, no, no extra work needed. And you can have any widget or any, any part of the UI being properly thinned and whatnot. <coughs> And in regards to input handling, yeah, before you had to, if you wanted to deal with input, not every widget wanted to do that. Uh, you would have to set up a GDK window. Uh, it could be input output, which means that it's laid below your widget, so to say, uh, and you render on top of it. Or it could be input only, which is invisible, and it's usually laid out on top of it, on top of the widget so it can receive input. But it's got quite some oddities, as in, for example, well, what if you want to, to get, uh, for example, a GTK button? Of course, if you put something stupid uh, in a GTK button, like a GTK calendar, you, you could still want the GTK button to react. You don't want the GTK calendar inside the button to, to do this stuff. So what do you need to do? You have to set your input-only window on top of the calendar. And you have to, uh, yeah, well, realize, uh, and then you have to wait for the calendar to set it up itself, and then you still need to lay the, the window on top. But there's very pervasive uh, widgets that, yeah, well, make it really hard because uh, they really compete for raising their windows and in the, uh, for example, in the GTK button case, or in, 
in many containers, uh, the approach and the very worst case is that uh, the windows are raised on every size allocate, which is basically competing against your children, and that's wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, right now the concept is that a widget may handle input events both before and after the children, thanks to the capture phase and to the bubble phase. And it's as simple as that. You don't need any GDK window. You, you don't need to set up anything additional in order to handle events on a widget. Uh, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's kind of differences, for example, uh, with these inputs only windows uh, being laid on top. Uh, you can imagine situations where the widget hierarchy doesn't really match up with the GDK window hierarchy. Uh, but, well, even bubbling works as always. There's no windows to raise uh, in GTK 4. So just use the capture phase instead of laying a, a window on top. Just you, you use the capture phase uh, and you handle the events and the bef before, before your children. And, well, if you want events, you just need to stick a GTK gesture. And for, uh, as an example, the, the, uh, I wrote the, the widget name wrongly, right? It's even box? Or yeah. Okay. So, yeah, GTK even box. Uh, in GTK 4, is an entirely shallow widget because uh, the use cases for a, a GTK event box I is basically uh, either you want to draw something that uh, the widget you want to stick inside uh, does won't do for you, or either you want to handle input on a widget that doesn't uh, usually handle input. So if you can already draw and you can already receive input, there's no sense for a GTK event box at all. You, you can just do it on the widget hierarchy or just a stick, uh, uh, a gesture into the widget that doesn't usually handle input or whatever. And a very check, a quick checklist uh, for uh, implementing a, wid a GTK widget would be implementing size allocate because you still need to lay out your children or whatever. Uh, you need to know how big they are, uh, etc. This implies also the measure signal, obviously. You implement GTK snapshot for drawing. You use GTK gesture yes for handling input. You don't need to implement realize nor unrealize because you don't have GTK windows anymore. That phase, uh, that those B methods are entirely unnecessary. And you don't need uh, to implement map or a map. Maybe you might need to want, want that uh, in case, I don't know, uh, shutting down timers that are running while your widget is visible. The, this is useful. So when the widget is unmapped, the timers go away or whatever. But it's mostly maintenance stuff. You don't need to show or hide or try to compete with the children, uh, etc. And that's it. That was far too quick. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Are we rid of all of the windows now? Not all. Uh, there's yeah, the calendar is icky. <laughs> <laughs> Delete it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few widgets like that, but yeah, they, they should be either removed or tackled. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who uses UTK calendar? I don't know. No, it's a custom widget, as far as I know. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's still got a shitload of features, but they are barely used. Yeah. Uh, my question is, uh, what does GDK stand for? Uh, the 
GIMP drawing kit, which it was really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's l legacy naming. Yeah, yeah, all the graphics context and whatnot, yeah. <laughs> okay, there are no other questions. Thank you very much, Carlos.